Hi and welcome to Mind Oasis with a new video. As the COVID-19 pandemic has hit almost every country in the world, a lot of industries are on the edge to break down. Retail bankruptcies are all-time high in the United States, according to the S&P Global Ratings. Some of the famous names were already operating at a loss and now because of the pandemic, their chances of survival are near impossible. Don't get surprised to see some of your favorite stores and restaurants on this list. You might notice everything is perfect in these stores from shelves placement to smile on clerks' faces but the foundation is shaking to its core in the background. Watch on to see if your favorite store has made to our list. Number 1. J. Crew. An American multi-brand, multi-channel, specialty clothing company favored by former First Lady Michelle Obama has been shutting down some of its stores due to tumbling sales over the years. Recently, it also closed its bridal store and separated from its creative director, Jenna Lyons, and CEO, Millard Drexler. Drexler admitted he thought the company's troubles halted from raising prices. Precisely, Drexler pointed out J. Crew elevated prices and went through expansion during years when consumers became more and more economical. Number 2. Sears Holdings. With its sales continues to decline, Sears Holdings has suffered distress for almost a decade now. It seems like they've tried almost everything, cost cuts, asset sales, store closures, and layoffs. All these methods haven't helped the huge department store to get out of troubled waters. CEO Eddie Lampert even tried hedge fund to avoid bankruptcy but seems like it couldn't keep the ship floating. Number 3. 99 cents only. The price point retailer chain offering discounted products hit hard and facing too much competition from companies like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and even Walmart. The 35-year-old giant had tried to turn things around for three years now. It was sold multiple times to Aries Management, Canada Pension Plan, and a private family. Although some of the stores are showing good results overall, they are bleeding money. Number 4. Burger King. While speaking to analysts, Burger King executives said the company plans to close around 200 to 250 low-volume locations per year, over the next couple of years. Per year the company has been closing some we hear in between 100 to 130 restaurants. The company said in its bankruptcy filing that its deteriorating cash flow and liquidity left it with no other choice but to seek bankruptcy protection. Number 5. Kohl's Corporation. Kohl's recently announced that they would be shutting down four premium stores in New York, Kansas, and Los Angeles. Over and above, they plan to close down of of their major operation centers to merge three locations into two. They realized, the worst performing stores were the ones inside or near the malls. Small stores in small locations came out as surprise. They became the best performing stores in their portfolios. They are assuming that by maintaining such small stores and pulling out of the larger locations, they should be able to turn the circumstances. Number 6. Win Dixie Grocery. Established in 1925, Win Dixie Grocery finally put the brakes. Its parent company Southeastern Grocers filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection to restructure their debt. The result, their debt has been reduced by $600 million and closed around 100 stores. The company announced, they will be focusing more on rebranding and remodeling the existing stores hoping this will get them out of troubled waters. Number 7. Stein Mart. The Greenville-based discount department store has struggled with its sales but is seeing some twinkles of hope. Stein Mart's sales stabilized and online sales grew by 47% in the third quarter of 2017. Although they did announce a $23.4 million net loss for the year but said it contracted its loss size to about 10%. Stein Mart also announced they hired advisors and consultants to help them turn the tables around. Seems like as their online sales grew, they tend to focus on building and improving digital infrastructure rather than focusing on revitalizing their standalone stores. Number 8. Office Depot. The Boca Raton-based office supply retailer saw some rough times with sales falling 7% to $10.2 billion. To make a shift and improve the numbers, its CEO Jerry Smith declared Office Depot would get into services as well along with retail. As per Business Insider, the company is closing more than 50 stores this year under both its Office Max and Namesake banner. Number 9. Forever 21. Los Angeles-based fast fashion giant Forever 21 filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy on September 29, 2019. 
With that declaration, Forever would be closing 350 stores globally and ceasing operations in over 40 countries. Not to worry, they will still be operational in plenty of US locations. Industry analysts said Forever 21's low prices and extremely big stores may also be a cause of its financial trouble. Number 10. Lowe's. Lowe's stated it will be closing locations including 26 Ronas, 6 Lowe's, and 2 Reno depots between the first and second quarters of 2020. In Canada, stores in British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Ontario, Quebec, and Nova Scotia will be affected. Marvin R. Ellison, Lowe's president and CEO recently stated, We are committed to the Canadian market and are taking decisive action to improve the performance and profitability of our Canadian operations. If you find this video useful, please press the like button and share it with your friends. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.